Hello everyone, today we are going to explain speech act theory. Well, before I explain speech act theory, if you are new in my lecture, please like and subscribe my channel. Well, do you have some idea that who introduced this theory? If you do not have idea, so let me tell you, this theory was introduced by British philosopher J. L. Austin. You should remember this name because he introduced this theory. But you should also know that he presented this theory in his book and the book name was How to do things with words. But what actually speech act theory is? Basically in this book he says that language should not be thought as a simple tool for conveying information but rather is a complex system of actions that can be used to accomplish tasks. I think you are not getting the point. Let me tell you in simple words. You can say speech act theory refers to the actions performed by speaker through their use of language. When we use language and through that language we also get our work done. So that is simply called speech act theory. Or you simply say that whenever we talk so we do not use only language to convey information but we perform various types of actions such as making statement, asking questions, giving commands, making promises and so on. Basically he is right because when we are using language so we always do not convey information to others but we also get our work done through language. For example if I say close the door carefully so you get up and close the door carefully so you can say I have used language to get work done by you. So this is speech act theory. There are three acts in speech act theory. They are locutionary act, illocutionary act and perlocutionary act. Well, let's move and explain it one by one. Locutionary act. Locutionary act refers to the literal meaning of a sentence. Simply you can say when a speaker utters a meaningful sentence that is said to be a locutionary act. For example, if I say, open the door, stop talking. So these sentences have meaning and a specific structure. So this is a locutionary act. And I am the speaker and I myself have said it. So simply you can say that when a sentence has a meaning and it, is, it has a specific structure and, and it is said by a speaker, so that is said to be a locutionary act. And along with that, you need to remember that a meaningless sentence cannot be considered as locutionary act because locutionary acts must be meaningful. Well, if you are not getting the point, when we explain illocutionary act and perlocutionary act, so then you will understand it. Well, illocutionary act. As we have said that a locutionary act refers to the literal meaning of a sentence or a basic utterances of a speaker. But illocutionary act refers to the intention behind uttering a sentence. You need to remember this sentence that illocutionary act refers to the intention behind uttering a sentence. Whenever a person says something, so he must have a specific intention behind saying or uttering a sentence. For example, if someone says, it is very cold inside. The speaker's intention may be that, that the temperature is low and he wants another person to turn off the heat or close the window. So that is why he said that it is very cold inside. See, he might have some intentions that, that another person should turn off the heat or close the window. Simply, when he says that it is very cold inside, so he must have some intention behind saying this sentence. So it is called what? Illocutionary act. Another example is if someone says there is less salt in the dish. So it means that he wants you to get him salt to make dish tasty. Or if you are not getting the point, so let me tell you in simple words that uh, illocutionary act means the intention of the speaker. Perlocutionary act. It is the third act which refers to the effect or impact of an utterance on the listener. Basically you can say 
it is the effect that the speaker wants to have on a listener. I think you are not getting the point. So let me give you an example so then you will understand it. For example, if a speaker says, please turn off the lights. If you look at this sentence, it has meaning in a specific structure. So it is a locutionary act. But this sentence is said by the speaker because he has intention to turn off the lights. So this is illocutionary act. Therefore, the speaker has some intention. And when a, when a listener hears it and he goes to turn off the light, so this is perlocutionary act. Why it is perlocutionary act? Because this sentence met another person to turn off the light. Because this sentence has a specific effect or effect on another person. Another example is if a speaker says, close the door carefully. So this utterance has also meaning in a specific structure. So this is locutionary act. And a speaker has intention to close the door. So this is illocutionary act. And when a hearer hears this utterance and he goes and closes the door. So this is per locutionary act. Well guys, if you have enjoyed my lecture, please like and subscribe my channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.